welcome back to my channel today i have a video that has been requested for the longest time and i'm finally here to do it a 2020 louis vuitton collection so let's go ahead and jump right into this video okay, so i decided to film this way only because um if you follow me on instagram you guys know that i just organized this closet so um I just couldn't see myself pulling everything out and putting it on the floor to try and show you guys. So I figured I would just grab it from the closet. Let's get started. I'm going to go from top all the way down to the bottom. I wrote down names because there's three of them that throw me off all the time. And I don't remember the name to them. First is my Cabas. Oh, my Cabas piano. I love this little bag. Um, it's perfect. I like it. Fits everything I need and um, I'm actually really glad that this one's in my collection. I actually got this bag because I saw it on um, Louis Vuitton Coffee Lover. Hey Tiff, you inspired me to get this bag. So this is um, my first bag that I'm showing you guys. I hope that I'm doing this collection video correct or I'm doing it right. <laughs> I know the Last one I did, I had more bags on the floor, but then again, I had less. Okay, so this one is the, hmm, Boulogne, Boulogne, I don't know how to say it, um, but it is the Boulogne, we're gonna say Boulogne, 30, size, or size 30. Uh, this is also another great shoulder bag. I absolutely love, I'm gonna, I absolutely love all my bags but this is another great shoulder bag that i have and again this is the um boulange 30. let's go on to the next one and you guys have seen this one on a recent um video that i did on it and this is the felicia um in the emperor leather and this is another great little bag that i absolutely love next up is the eva clutch can't go wrong with having the Eva clutch. It's classic, it's a must have, it's everything you need, super chic and super cute. This is the Alma BB in the Red Epi leather. This is another great little bag um, that you can do crossbody with or handheld, so however you would like to use this bag, super cute. This is my Alma PM. This bag, you guys, I love this bag. Same thing, you can go ahead and do um, a crossbody chain on this or handheld. However way you want to wear it is super chic and super cute. Next up is my first baby and that is my Speedy 30. Who doesn't have a Speedy 30 in their collection? Um, this was, like I said, my first bag that I bought um, and this was a bag that I did have the piping fixed on it. Um, just because the inside was undone, but um, I'm happy that I do have this bag because you know, guys, I really wanted this one when I first knew about Louis Vuitton. This was the one that I wanted. And then next up is my very vintage Speedy 25. This is another bag that I also saw on Tiff and I wanted to get it just because I thought it looked so cute. So we keep going with the Speedies. <laughs> We've got the little mini HL or mini Speedy. Um, this is so cute, guys. I have been wanting to track this baby down forever. And I'm really happy that I have her. I found her at a great deal. And she's just, she fits on my hand. It's like so, so cute. So cute. Honey, I shrunk my Speedy. Okay. The next bag is a unicorn bag because I never thought I would be able to find this or own it. My Speedy 30 as well in the multicolor in black. This bag is gorgeous. Um, there's absolutely no flaws to it and I don't use her often, but just knowing that I have it, that, that, that just works for me. Okay, so next up is my um, Minoski. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how it's spelled. But this is the Minoski PM. There is a GM size in that, um, but I, I'm, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too crazy about it. I, I just, I like this little one just because I don't see it on anybody. I haven't seen it on anyone. And um, I just, I think it's super cute with the red interior. Um, it's kind of like a, it looks like super red on camera, but it's kind of like a reddish orange. Um, 
so I can't really like explain the color even though it looks really red on here but another great little bag next is my um, pour day Porte Documents Jour. Uh, this is a great laptop bag. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. Sometimes I use this bag as a purse, not often, um, but sometimes I do. But it's literally like a great travel bag to have your iPad, all your electronics in here, your laptop. I just, you guys, I'm obsessed with this one. Of course, we can't forget this one, you guys. We cannot. The Louis Vuitton on the go in the large monogram print. Um, I just did a review of this video, uh, a review of this bag, and I absolutely love it. And I'm so happy that I've got this in my collection. Next up is my Bactignolus Horizontal. Um, it looks like a regular bag being open, kind of like a Neverfull, but it's only because I uncinched the sides um, to make the bag a little bit bigger for me. You can, well, it usually comes in cinched, but I uncinched it, so it looks like this, closed up. Um, I uncinched it only because when I store it, I like to keep it all nice and open so that I don't get any creases or anything like that. Next up is my other great, um, I feel like this is more like for files. I can put my laptop in it, but I feel like it's more for files. This is the Porte Document Senator. I hope I'm saying that correct. This one's another great piece, very vintage as well, and I love it, never leaving my collection. Next is my cute little piece, thanks to my friend I was able to acquire the Tivoli PM. It's literally so cute, hold everything I need, literally hold everything. So this bag, I'm just amazed on how much it fits. The next bag that I'm going to pull out is my Stressa PM. This is like, oh, I'm so glad I have this bag. Um, I love this bag. I call this bag, you guys, you guys, as most of you know, I do call this my Jerusha bag because she is the first person I saw this Stressa bag on and I just thought, um, I have to have it. And that's pretty much what happened. So here she is. Okay, so the next little piece that I have is the Danubi PM. So I got a really good deal on this bag for a particular reason because the sides were cut off. I was going to get this sent in and get it fixed. I do um, already have a quote on it, but I haven't taken it in. Um, instead, I've been buying other bags when I should have been taking this in and getting it fixed because I think it would be such a cute little bag as a crossbody. Um, so whenever that may happen, <laughs> I will definitely make a video on that. My next baby is my croissant PM. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I love this little tote as well. Um, enough fits in here. And what I love about this bag is the cherry line, the, like the cherry interior this bag has. It's like my fave from this. I don't use it often, but I rather have a couple uh, different clutches to be able to wear like whenever we get to leave again and do something. Um, I like to have a variety of small clutches to go with an outfit. So this little baby is also a good one to have. So my next one is the um, Sac Cuisine, Sac Cuisine, Cuisine, something like that. And I think this is in the GM size, um, only because that's this is the only one that I can find. There, I haven't seen a PM, maybe there is a PM but this is the GM size. This one's another another great bag that you can use to go out or something or you know grab for a quick errand. Um, this is a really cute and chill, chill like chill laid back bag, type of bag for you to kind of rock out of the house for an errand. So the next one, you guys, is a bag that I knew I had to have and that is my Galliera PM. I just, I, I don't, I'm lost for words for this bag. I love it. I'm happy I have it. It'll never leave my collection. Um, yeah, I mean, I love the plaque on it. I mean, it's just, it's gorge. I love it, absolutely love it. Next up, we have my Artsy in the MM size. Um, another great bag to have. This bag I didn't think I would ever be able to own, but here she is in my collection. Love this bag. 
Um, I'm very careful with the straps only because or the strap because I'm afraid of it coming undone because I have heard stories about that. But in the meantime, I'm just very careful with her. We're almost done. We're almost done. The next one I'm up is my Neverfull MM. This was my second baby. Uh, shortly after I got my Speedy, um, I got this one. I'm pretty happy I got it. You can't go wrong with Neverfulls. Like, you have to have them. So yeah, glad this one's in my connection. And with that one being said, last but not least, Neverfull MM and the Damier Azure. You just can't go wrong with Neverfulls. They're amazing, they last forever. I, honestly, I think all bags last forever, but this one's just a must to have. So this is the last one, you guys. I am all done with my collection. I was trying to get through this video super quick so it wasn't super long. Um, if you guys would like to see my small leather goods, I can make a separate video on that. I don't have too many that I think. Um, so that one would definitely be a shorter video. But I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys everything. And if I didn't, we'll save it for the next collection video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and watching my video. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe down below and click on the notify bell so that you guys know when I upload a video. But uh, this is all that I have for you guys until the next video. Bye guys.